West Indies cricket is not an easy road. Bang, 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 ba, bang, bang. Jaja. Greetings, 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 my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. And this one I am dropping shortly after my first video. Some breaking news that was just put out by CWI. Shane Dowrich has retired from international cricket. So he has withdrawn from the squad and he has, with, uh, he has retired from international cricket. Mind you, man was just drafted into the squad that is uh, or was set said to be the one that is uh, that they're going to groom to go towards the next world cup anyway let me go down into what cwi posted here and give you some information so the headline says shane dorich announces his international retirement withdraws from West Indies squad for CG United ODI series. So it says Cricket West Indies today announced that Shane Dorich, the experienced wicketkeeper batsman, has announced his retirement from international cricket with immediate effect and has withdrawn from the West Indies squad for the upcoming CG United One Day International ODI series against England. Hmm. Let me go down into what they said now, my viewers and subscribers. Maz Bascom, the director of West Indies Cricket. And I quote, We want to thank Shane for, contri for his contribution when he played for the West Indies. He is a disciplined, hard-working cricketer who always gave his utmost in front of and behind the stumps he had a memorable series in 2019 when he made an outstanding test century on home soil in barbados now this helped us to beat england and we eventually won the wisdom trophy we respect his decision to retire and appreciate it and appreciate it is not an easy one to make we wish him all the best as he steps away from the international stage. End quote. How what kind of cross is this? Lord God. The CWI selection panel will, know, will not name a replacement for... Well, the CWI panel will not name a replacement for the three-match series. And the squad consists of... well. You know, and the squad consists of 14 players. The CG United ODI series will feature three matches. The uh, tour will start with the CG United ODI series, you know, which we will have three games and then they will have, well, three ODI games and then the five T20s. Oh my gosh. Just to remind you, my people. So the first one is going to be at the Sir Vivian Richard Stadium on the 3rd of December. The second one on the 6th of December and then the, uh, hold on, let me see, let me see. Da, da, da. Yeah, so the first game is actually on the 3rd of December here. Yeah, I got it. The 3rd, 6th and then I think the next one is on the, uh, the, the 9th of December, right? <laughs> Why well, I tell you, let me remind you of the squad. Shea Hope, Azari Joseph, Alec Arthanes, Yannick Correa. Casey Carter, Rustin Chase, Matthew Ford, Shimron Hitmeyer, Brandon King, Goody Kishmoti, Otley, Rutherford, Romario Shepard, and O'Shane Thomas. Well, I hope that um hope that we don't get any injuries. Uh let me see if I got that right. So the third, the sixth, and the ninth. So so that that those are the three ODIs. The third, the sixth, and the ninth. So Shane Dorich has retired from international cricket. Um, I don't know. I don't know my viewers and subscribers. Very interesting because he was just announced, you, you know, he was just named as a part of the squad that is, you know, and they said they are trying to build the squad around people that they are taking to the next World Cup. Um, we're going to have to wait to hear what CWI is saying to see if there, you know, if there was anything, don't know, don't know what happened. Um, we, 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 we wait on the concrete information. 
Um, someone had reached out to me and said something, but I'm, I, you know, <laughs> I, I want to wait to see what they are saying. It's not all about trying to get breaking news. It's all about trying to um make sure that when when the news goes out there, you know, it's it it's it's um it's basically saying the same thing that's coming down from what CWI is saying. Even though sometimes they they, they don't really give us the the, the 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 thing the right and, and and proper way, but you know, we just have to hope that um nothing happens to our captain. Uh, she hope. Because, you know, they said no, no uh, uh, replacement has been named. Uh, she hope, it, to my knowledge, will be the only keeper there then. I can't remember seeing anybody else keeping and keeping at a level that I would trust them to keep in an international ODI game. So we're going to continue to monitor this, my viewers and subscribers. At the end of the day, um, they have made their decision. And it's, it's strange, it's weird. That's why I'm saying maybe there is something behind him retiring. Nobody would be out of um, selection for so for such a long time. And as soon as they get the opportunity to be selected again, they just retire. It has to be some sort of um, probably injury or some sort of uh, probably disagreement in the camp. You understand? When a man gets selected out of the blues, He's not going to just get up and walk away from the opportunity like that. It's always an opportunity to earn. So people usually retire two ways from international cricket. Either they are satisfied with their career or and, and they are at the age and they believe it's time to step away. Or it's, an, it's, a, it's a case where there is some sort of injury or some sort of issue with the um, with the with the with the with the the, the so-called jacket and tie people and they decide to walk away it's just a couple of days ago we would have heard um do uh, darren bravo walk deciding to walk away saying that you know he's well not retiring from international cricket but taking a break and saying that you know listen he's 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 going to work on stuff work on his mental health because he would have um put in a lot of work and he was snub without giving a reason so now that Shane Dorich has decided to walk away from international cricket, we want to know the reason because any sensible person going to say, listen, a man not going to work to, not going to work to get back an international call up and as he gets the call up, he walks away. You understand? You know, you know, really work like that. You know, as I said, people usually retire because they have done well and they want to retire at the top or it's a case where they have, um, they are injured or, you know, so are, are some sort of issue with, with the jacket and tie people but people don't just get up and walk with some of people so we, we, we wait to see we wait to see as I said I just saw it and I had a little break so I'm not going I'm not going to dry it out I just want to say that and then run back to class we will talk again later on big up